Hey, hey, Ricardo here from Uplifted Consulting and welcome to another automation video. Today we're going to talk about Airtable cold email campaign reporting, what are the different ways to build a reporting, uh, why use Airtable instead of Google Sheets, uh, different automation and so much more. So I want to start off uh, by uh, explaining why we use Airtable, what is Airtable and why we use it uh, compared to uh, Google Sheets. So you can think of Airtable as a Google Sheets on steroids and uh, it's a way of having all the data in a single way. So in this instance, when it comes to cold email, uh, cold email campaign reporting, you can have all your different campaigns at the same time and have all the information on the main campaign level as well as uh, on the daily campaign level. Uh, within the same platform. This is really useful for you but because it allows you to do quicker analysis of your campaigns. Uh, first off on the uh, quantitative level, so by looking at just the numbers and the data, but you can also enrich Airtable with a bunch of other information if you want to, such as qualitative data and uh, all the things like that. So right now I will show you an example of uh, uh, campaign uh, data and campaign reporting within Airtable. So this is uh, an Airtable uh, cold email system. Uh, here we have uh, uh, the campaigns and for each campaign we have different information about it, such as the campaign ID, uh, prospect contacted, email sent, email replied, email clicked, uh, and so on. By the way, everything around this is built using SmartLead because it has the best API uh, for all kinds of automation um, setups uh, and uh, reporting capabilities and so on. So that is uh, um, where all this information comes from. So SmartLead is used to launch the campaigns and then we use the APIs to extract all this information within the Airtable. And in a moment we're, we will also see uh, the, the out behind that. So here we have all the different information and what we can also uh, do is we can also get information such as reply rate, positive re reply rate, absolute positive reply, relative positive reply. So we can do all sort of calculation over here, obviously, but we can also get information such as what are the emails, what are the total leads, as well as uh, other additional information such as, for example, cold booked. So in this way, we can actually isolate cold booked on each campaign level without relying on uh, another interface and just looking at everything over here. So this is where all the campaigns are. Uh, there's also another field which is key to this system, which is the client uh, field. Within the client field, you will add information such as company name, client ID, and contact email. Uh, in this way, you will only, um, yeah, you will only get information uh, about these different clients and the information would be divided into clients. So here in campaigns, uh, we can have different views and we can also have the views grouped by clients as an example. So here, every campaign is grouped by clients and we are able to check for specific metrics uh, uh, for each client. So if we want to see what is uh, uh, the uh, email replied amount for Bright Media, for example, we can see it over here. And here we can also uh, change the metrics. So here we can check for the reply rate, for example, and we can see that Prime Media is an average of 8.15 uh, of reply rate. Obviously those are all uh, fake data, but uh, with your own data, you can actually do uh, reliable calculation and reliable, um, yeah, reliable decisions based on that. So this is a part of the data. Um, another thing that I want to show you about the reporting is you can also have, uh, uh, you can also have qualitative data here. In order to add this kind of data, this is a manual process that you would uh, uh, have to, um, that you would have to, to have inside your campaigns. And uh, yeah, basically here you add uh, all the targeting, all the copy angles, and what you can do later on is instead of just using the uh, the actual number of each campaign, you can get uh, um, you can get valuable data from the qualitative um, results. So, for example, if you want to check uh, uh, what is uh, the response rate that you get uh, by sending a message that is problem related. Uh, 
versus a trigger based uh, response you can do that and you can check all this kind of information obviously this is uh, um, more on the advanced side but this is also one uh, what i want to show you uh, here because uh, it's important for you to not only make decisions based on the actual data that you get but also based on other kinds of data uh, such as the qualitative one that no one actually uses so this is really really key Another aspect uh, here that uh, I want to uh, show you here are the true automation that make uh, uh, everything uh, possible over here. So first off, we have an automation to add the clients to Airtable. So the idea here is we need to make sure that we add all the clients to Airtable. And uh, this is uh, a picture of the automation that we use to add the clients. Basically, what we do is we get uh, the clients from the SmartLead API. So I will also show you the SmartLead API over here. And uh, here we have uh, uh, fetch all clients. So we use this API endpoint to get all the clients. And then once we get all the clients, uh, we iterate through them and add the clients to our table. This is done as the first the setup that you need to do in order to have all the client IDs and all the, um, all the different information about the clients. And then it comes the campaign reporting automation, which uh, usually runs on a uh, daily basis and uh, gets all the information about all your campaigns and uh, updates, uh, uh, updates the information from the running campaign, uh, updates the information if the campaign stop, and also create daily reports and things like that. So to enter in detail all, all, uh, in here, so because uh, I, um, yeah, I developed this based on the work on more than 10 different uh, outreach agencies and we refine it and refine it uh, so that right now it's only a, a simple plug and play process for for the agencies that want this and uh, um, this is really really powerful so i want to show you this and i want to guide you through uh, through this what we do here is we get to the client list uh, within our table so the client list is actually this list here and we check for clients which are active. So in this way, if we have a previous client that stopped working with us, we can mark the status as not active and stop tracking the campaigns that we have for them. Uh, after that, we aggregate all the client information, we get start and end date uh, for daily reporting and then we start iterating over each client, get all the active campaigns that are present and then uh, here, what we do is we segment out the campaigns uh, by client. So in this way, we actually check for uh, the client ID within each campaign and make sure that uh, the client ID matches the, uh, the client ID that we have over here. So in this way, we are actually only, uh, we, we divide all the campaigns into batches of different clients. So we have batch one for client one, batch two for client two, and so on. Then what we do over here is we check for campaign that are not in air table. So first off, it's important to make sure that uh, we, um, yeah, we check for those kind of campaigns. And then if the campaigns are not in air table, we get the main stats, we get the campaign responses, uh, and then we create a new campaign. Here we use this system here to check for calls booked. So the only reason uh, why we get uh, all the campaign responses is because we want to categorize uh, those uh, into uh, the responses that have a specific lead category. So in this way, if you have a specific lead category that you want to track, such as call booked, this is uh, how this can be done. So here we iterate over the campaigns, we check for the lead category that is equal to call booked, and then we aggregate that over here. And uh, the only thing that we actually need over here is uh, uh, how many calls booked are present. So yeah, what we do at the end is actually create the, the actual campaign. Then what we have over here is, yeah, we have three different uh, rows, three different segments. So this one is when a campaign is not present in the system. This one is when a campaign is present in a system and is active. So obviously when a campaign is active, what we want to do is update the campaign every single day. Uh, to make sure that is active. So uh, what we do here is we get the main stats, we get the campaign responses, and then we get the daily stats. 
uh, which will be uh, which all of them are three different API endpoints that we use from SmartLead. And here we use also some error handling so that if there are there is some problems within the SmartLead API and uh, there's some server error or any kinds of all things like that, we stop that and uh, we are able to resume that back and uh, don't encounter any problems. And uh, I say this because we tested multiple iterations of this campaign to come into this final uh, setup. Uh, so after that, what we do over here is uh, we uh, get the campaign ID and then we do two things. Uh, we check for calls booked, so how many calls booked, and then we create a daily report over here. Um, they new report that is divided into positive replies, uh, code booked, uh, and all the information about the daily report that we can extract. So here we uh, create a daily campaign report. So in this way, you are not only uh, you don't only have uh, the main campaign data that is updated on a daily basis, but you also have uh, the daily campaign data segmented out. So in that way. You have, for example, the data from a specific campaign in that specific date. And uh, you can check for things uh, such as the uh, bounce rate uh, was too high into that specific period or any other sort of information like that. Beware if you have a lot of clients. Uh, I don't suggest running this, uh, this setup because it could cost you a lot of operations. Otherwise, what you can do instead is use other tools uh, such as Xano to have this kind of daily report data and uh, uh, update the system on a daily basis, but with the weekly data. So uh, if you are also interested in that, I will give you a further explanation in the future on that. Finally, the last, uh, um, the last branch that we have over here is if uh, a campaign status is paused, the scope or completed. So what we do over here is we check for the campaign and we check if the campaign has a status of post, stop or completed. So in this way, um, yeah, in this way, we actually make sure that we only look for specific campaigns. And uh, if the campaign does not have this report pool, uh, which uh, uh, can act uh, as a like final, uh, uh, final uh, updates of, of information available, uh, then we start off with a similar uh, set up like the one that we have over here. So this is actually done so that when you complete a campaign and uh, the, the status changes from active to completed, uh, in here you get all the data of the campaign, you finalize the data, you make sure that uh, the report is completed and that you don't touch the report again. Uh, so this is the setup over here. Uh, those are all the things uh, uh, over here. If you are interested in that, let me know in the comments. Uh, I maybe drop that as a free bonus uh, if you're interested in that and uh, um, let you know more about other different automations that I have available. You can follow me here on LinkedIn or you can follow me on YouTube and uh, uh, keep automating. Uh, hope you have an amazing day. Hope you learned something and hope you can apply something to your own business with this. Uh, let me know. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.